we want to be able to construct a copy of this angle right here so that the two angles are congruent. To do that, <clears throat> what we're going to do is grab a ray here and we're going to make a um, a ray that is uh, going to form part, one side, of the angle. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is place a point somewhere on this line, this ray, excuse me, and uh, and then come over to get the circle tool and I will make this the center of my circle and this the uh, point on the radius and <clears throat> you'll notice as I move that point along that ray the circle changes okay <clears throat> now what I want to do is I would like to place a point on this ray that's the same distance away from D as F is away from A. So what I'm going to do is come up and grab the compass tool and I'm going to uh, measure this distance from A to F with my compass tool. Notice that that uh, measurement was taken off of that and I'm going to come down here and place it on D. When I do that uh, I've marked off that distance, so now I'm going to use the, uh, this intersection tool to place a point right there. Now you'll notice that as I move point F along this circle, since that compass was used, took its measurement from A to F, it's going to keep DG the very same length. Okay. Now what we want to do is we'd like to place a point here on this uh, intersection and then the distance from F to H I want to be the same distance as G to some other point so again the compass tool is very good for for uh, maintaining those distances so I select the compass tool and I say I want the distance from F to H and it, it uh, shows that measurement and then I come down here to G and say I want that same circle same distance so all these points are the same distance the radius of this circle at G has a radius of F to H okay now what's nice is is where this circle here intersects the new circle is where I'd like to have my next ray go. So I put a point on the intersection, grab the ray tool, and go from the vertex through this point. And that should guarantee that this angle A and this angle D are the same. How could we verify that? Well, let's go up here and grab the angle measurement tool. And then what we'll do is we'll measure the angle I, D, G, I, D, G, okay, and we'll also measure the angle H, A, F, and you'll notice that their measurements are the same, and if I change, whoops, if I change the size of this angle by moving either of these rays, you'll notice the size of this one also changes. So that construction uh, guarantees that we've copied the angle and that the angles are congruent.